Make it dance. Hey. Cool shirt, bro. Thanks. It's a jet here. And <laughs> so thanks Harbor Freight for this little guy because that's the only way we could get lots well, of old ball joint. Came out easy, but the new ones, there they are. Here's one. New ones are in. Wouldn't have been able to do it without that big old Harbor Freight press. It worked pretty well. It worked pretty well. And speaking of Harbor Freight presses, we are on to trailing arm bushings, which, uh, this is part of it. They were so shot that uh, we were able to just push push this out and actually made it way easier to get the press on there. Yeah, put that up there. Now we got a big flat boy instead of that sticking up in our way. This um, is uh, the only thing that the Acura manual said not to do at home, so here we are. True story, true story. It wouldn't tell you how to do it. It said take it to a shop, but we are a shop. I am shop. I am shop, I am shop. So this is, we did one already and it went decent. Um, that's the new one. It's in one piece, unlike the old one. It's looking... That's, whoa, that's really dark, there we go. It's looking real nice. Um, you can't see that because it's dark, but there it is. It's looking real nice in there. Um, you know, we checked the height of this and the orientation to make sure we got the right one. Back in there correctly, plus one side's longer than the other side, so... If you ever do do these at home, make sure you get it lined up in there correctly and facing the right direction. There you go, you can see this side's longer. So, we got one in, and we're gonna do the second one right now. See how she goes. Go! Once again, thank you Harbor Freight for the press. Sponsor us. Seriously, sponsor us. It's a Harbor Freight review video. How do you like the, Let the me just 12, say, 12 ton hydraulic press, Jet? For just $120, say? Something like that. This was not only incredibly easy to put together, but incredibly easy to use. I mean, here we are, two run-of-the-mill jabronis. We've done this no problem. True. And if you have to buy uh, this wheel bearing kit to have all the adapters that you want, because it has a million adapters, and we need them to get this bushing out, then you can use the box to catch all your shit that falls. So it's not loud. Not that loud. Not that loud. But yeah, this press is pretty sick, though. And that little handheld one for the ball joints was great. So, thanks again, Harbor Freight. Hell yeah! Why don't you uh, Why don't you press this bad boy out and I'll film you? <laughs> Nothing the fans want more, right? It's the only thing the fans want to see. It's really harsh lighting right you now. You picked a terrible place, yeah. It'd be nice if there's room in the garage. You know, I could just pull the integra out. But... Nah. Is that moving? Sure. It's moving. I just sat on the hammer and it went up my butt. <laughs> That's hot. It's getting real crooked. Well, it started real crooked. Oh. Maybe we should, uh... I think we should adjust that. All right, stand by. Take two. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, that's looking way better. Honestly, the only thing is, you just wanna make sure you're centered no matter what you're doing on a press like this. Because if you're not centered, it's just gonna either push it up or make things really hard. Where did that go? <laughs> New bushing versus old. Here's the old one. Yeah, that's fine. It's not supposed to be one piece or anything. 